Hey guys, Shards here, and first off, sorry for the lack, complete lack of uploads, I've been really busy, and I'll get more into that, but today's going to be a really quick base breakdown video. So for Alex Cortez, I think you commented this on one of my uh, more recent videos, you want a sim base, so here it is, here's my attempt at a sim base. Not sure how good it is, but here it is. Uh, like I was saying, uploads. I was sick out yesterday, I couldn't record the day before, I was kind of busy, and then I was actually kind of busy during April break in general, so I couldn't really record. But yeah, sorry about that, I am back now, so I guess yay. But without further ado, here's the base. Uh, the space is kind of meant to mess up pathing, as is like any base, because honestly, Tunnel 9 is just kind of broken, I have to say. But, regardless, this base, uh, the entries are very hard with these walls, basically uh, protecting the point defense here, Archer Tower Cannon, Cannon, Archer Tower Cannon, from being directly targeted by wizards, and it's very difficult to make a funnel. Also because of the golem pathing, if you see like the, this cannon here is going to draw the golem into like very high DPS here. And then like over here you have the two Archer Towers, Mordor, Tesla, Mordor. So like entry is very hard from like any side, and uh, basically this entire base is meant to like screw with golem pathing for the most part. Uh, you also don't have a lot of jump value, so kind of keeping like anti hobo in mind. And then queen is centralized, so it's hard to get to her. Obviously, you can't get to her with suicide heroes, but any big kill squad is still going to be very tricky to funnel, just because of the point defense. I mean, like, say you uh, funnel this part somehow, and then wall break in here, and then jump in here. Well, I mean, that that's already crazy. I mean, you're going to have to set, like, a huge funnel, but say you get that done, and then you, like, still missed out on most of the base here. All the giant bombs, this kind of point defense. Only got, like, queen, two air defenses, and your uh, golems will probably walk. I don't know, they might walk, but this core is defenseless, so probably not a good chance of them walking in. Anyways, base. So, besides like the, all the golems, the screw up pathing, like against air, you have these air defenses which are overlapping, which is always good for tearing down hounds and two seeking air mines, which are doubled up just to kill hounds quicker. And obviously, most of like the ground targeting defense is near the air defenses, like, there's not actually that much defense near air defenses. While, like, all the anti-air stuff is over here, so, like, archer towers, wizard towers, skeleton traps set to air, and both air bombs, so that's gonna be brutal against loons, obviously, this entire section. And turns out I was wrong about Expo Island, so I always thought that it was targetable, like, right there in the corner, but turns out it's not, so that's why that's there, in case any of you were wondering. And that's pretty much covers it for Aaron. Nice thing about the queen is that she reaches all the air defenses, so she's going to uh, be sniping, obviously, sniping hounds. This bomb tower is also here so that, let's say she steps into this compartment to snipe hounds because she does move, and then, like, you try and drop a skelly spell on her, Barb King plus bomb tower is just going to eradicate everything. So skelly spells going to be pretty useless, and it's hard to lalo in the space with a tricky pathing. I don't see what else. Also, like, against hogs, obviously you have the nice spring traps here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, always one tile in between defenses. And the Teslas are, like, kind of have outside giant bombs. Like, here you have a giant bomb. It's outside, so it should force an early heal. And this one's kind of more inside. And I use a Tesla there to kind of pull the hog so that it would trigger. Like, without this Tesla, the hogs might just go around. So I had to keep the Tesla there to make sure that the bomb triggers when hogging. Okay, so I know it's really quick, probably because I covered all the points and I haven't recorded in a while, but I think I explained, right, compartment sizing. So it's really hard to double jump from this side because, like, say you jump here, like, you can't really get an entry, easy entry from here because of all the defense here. And then, there's no point in even wall breaking this. 
Uh, there is, like, for a queen charge, but other than that, there is no point in wall breaking this. So, uh, you have to jump here, and then, like, you can't get jump valley with the second jump either. And these air defenses are enough separated so that while they're overlapped, you can't get, like, all four with a single queen charge. You can quad quake this core, which I like. I mean, you could put CC there just to make it more, more unlearable and put queen somewhere else, but quite, the core is un quakeable unjumpable which means that there's really not a lot of value for like a queen charge say like if it was one tile smaller like this you could quake and open up this wall to this wall and just queen charge the middle and then baby drag the rest but you can't there's also minimal jump value so like wall break in here you can still only jump the first layer you double jump this first first and second layer into the expo island and then like you have a very minimal value jump there and just pathing is just screwy so you I wouldn't like expect your troops to beat through so it's really hard to like double jump through the base because you have wide compartments in the middle also because of the difficult entry so like your troops might not even go in if they do go in they don't get a lot of value uh some things to talk about mortars here were like just used for tanking made sure that wizard towers were not directly targetable since they are like one of the strongest defenses against loons uh, Wizard Towers, their range is also out of the air defense range. That's just to make sure that they they will be shooting loons, not hounds, as hounds path to 80s. And obviously if a hound's on this 80 and this wizard tower can't reach, it's going to be shooting whatever, whatever is behind the hound, which is obviously a balloon. And the small bombs here, like I thought like a queen charge here would be juicy. So made sure that like it would be hard to wall break. Along with the tuzzles and giant bomb, and then small bomb here again like an entry from here is possible like from this corner probably the most likely i mean you're not going to get a lot of value from there so that's why i didn't have like uh small bombs there okay and last but not least troll tells the location here and yeah so kind of quick video today like i said but hopefully i explain my absence of uploads i know uh, part of it was me being lazy part of it was me not having enough time but i'll try but yeah, that wraps up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, drop a like. It still feels weird to me, by the way, like just the way you say drop a like or like sub up. But anyways, drop a like if you enjoyed. If you didn't, don't dislike. Don't like. Dislike. <laughs> I did not mean to say don't. Whatever. I didn't mean to say do not dislike. And yeah, if you guys are new, uh, sub up. Or maybe just having subs already and watching all my videos like I do with half the channels I watch. But please do sub up as it looks good and boosts my ego. And yeah, that's it for today. Until next time, shreds out.